Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you this video from Jerusalem and I want to talk today about buying computer gear in Israel. If you are into desktop computing or gaming or uh, just tech in general and you're looking to find where to buy these things in Israel, if you've just made Aliyah slash move here, uh, I wanted to just record this video to try help people out. Okay, so um, without further ado, let's jump into the browser. Okay, so when it comes to bricks and mortar slash retail stores in Israel, there's really two main names to be aware of. One of them is called KSP, the other one is called uh, Ivory, and they're very, they tend to be really similar in terms of their inventory, in terms of their prices even. I don't know if it's, if it's an actual common pairing company. They definitely share a supply chain. Uh, you, as I said, you'll find huge overlap in terms of both the prices and what they have. Um, both have a, um, a chain list on the internet. Uh, it's called in Hebrew Rashimatz Nifim, and you can look for. You can either type that in Hebrew KSP Rashimatz Nifim or Ivory Rashimatz Nifim, or you can click on Snifim on their website. All will get you to a list, and as you can as you can see, uh, you know both have kind of a nationwide presence. They're everywhere from Ashkelon to Herzliya to Haifa to Tiveria. Um, so KSP Ivory, I find them much of a muchness. I actually slightly prefer Ivory, uh, but I buy a decent amount of gear from both of these places. Uh, and by and large, I find the service relatively decent, exception being sometimes warranty repairs in Israel. Very important to ask about the warranty and how that's provided. There's something in Israel in, in Israel called Ayavon Harishmi, which means the official importer um, to the best of my knowledge, that's the that's the entity that has the official import license for a particular product. Uh, so you'll often see that as a benefit listed on um, Israeli websites. But it's good to know who provides the warranty service if you need it, because I've had experiences of buying office office uh, stuff like a shredder that broke down, and they're like, "Oh, the great this is from KSP. Oh, it's in warranty. Uh, if you want to get your warranty repair." you need to uh, bring it up to this place that's three hours drive away and you're like, I'm not gonna do that. So KSP and Ivory in any way for like general day-to-day -day stuff, they both sell, um, you know, in terms of computer components, er more or less everything, networking, uh, networking hardware, CPUs, RAM, GPUs, motherboards. Uh, speaking of all these components, there's a they actually also offer really good service of computer assembly. So the desktop I'm recording this on, I actually uh, built this in KSP a few years ago. And I, I say built this, uh, meaning that I basically picked out the components. I picked out a CPU. I picked out everything from the fans to the case. And then they go ahead and actually do the build. So that is a service that exists here. You can also just buy the parts. Now, to state the obvious, stuff in Israel is really, really expensive for the most part. And computer parts and computers are no exception. It's generally speaking, cheaper to buy outside of Israel, whether we're talking about uh, pre-made computers or uh, components or whatever. Um, so that's something that you can uh, just to bear in mind. Um, besides those two guys, there are also a number of smaller uh, operators. So there's a kind of these a long list of niche tech, smaller, uh, you know, smaller tech stores, smaller IT stores. Uh, one of them, Planter, is kind of well known among the gaming community. I'm big into uh, desktop computing, but I'm actually not a gamer. I don't game. Um, so I'm not so familiar with what kind of stuff gamers like. I think mechanical keyboards, higher end GPUs are up there. Planter has a has a decent uh, uh, selection in this, in this kind of world. They don't have a physical uh, shop front. So it's a store where you buy online. And I believe you can pick it up, but I'm not sure. Check the website if you're interested. Planter is pretty big. There's also this site called TMS. I've ordered a couple of things from TMS. Um, I ordered a graphics card. I think I also bought some RAM from them or something like that. Uh, I, it was a really good experience. I was very happy with them. Thought they provided good customer service um, and that. So there's also a couple more, um, more like enterprise IT stores. I've dealt with a couple. I didn't have a great experience with one in particular. Therefore, I'm not going to recommend them or disrecommend them but just to say that if you're looking for stuff like load balancing routers vpn routers or you know just your kind of higher end networking gear um prosumer slash enterprise grade then you can find places for that as well a couple more things just to mention um aliexpress and ebay aliexpress if you haven't heard about it it's this chinese website that sells it either does free shipping from china to israel or it does really cheap shipping and I kind of buy like cheaper stuff. I don't buy anything expensive on AliExpress. I buy stuff like, 
I've uh, popped open microphone foams here because this microphone foam is actually from Ali and this this um, microphone and the scissor arm is from uh, Amazon. So that's kind of what I do. I try to buy the best quality at the most affordable price and reasonable logistics. So I do buy some stuff here, other stuff I order from Amazon or AliExpress or eBay. It's really kind of a mixture. Sometimes it is hard to find the more obscure stuff in Israel and the, that's where they're in the that's where the internet can be a lifesaver um so there's there's AliExpress which uh, offers really poor customer service uh but it does have a gigantic uh product inventory and it takes a long time to get to Israel sometimes up to a month or even longer finally there is Amazon so Amazon at the moment when I'm recording this video they're doing a deal to Israel it's a $49 deal so if you spend that or above on qualifying items the shipping is free now in order to see if the items are qualifying they do have this filter called eligible for free shipping you i'm looking here at just some uh, networking cards so these are exa examples of things that you could buy in israel but it would probably be cheaper to buy on a place like amazon despite the fact that it's coming from uh somewhere else in the world stuff in israel probably costs more because they the shops also need to import it and also need to make a profit margin so you know uh you can try different places on the internet the only one thing to say is that you have to be a little bit careful when importing wireless gear to israel now you might not think what's wireless we're talking about like walkie talkie so wireless can be um a router slash modem router can be is a piece of wireless equipment now i've done uh, covered in a separate video about um, importing legally wireless gear to israel there's actually a process you can do you can actually request uh, permission from the Ministry of Communication to import a specific product. They also have a pre-approved list covering everything from wireless intercoms to routers and that kind of thing. So you can either see if something's on your list, which in theory means it should get through the system, or you can request permission from Israel. But if you do not do, do those things and you try to either put a modem in your suitcase or just buy it from a website, there is a chance uh, that you might be breaking a law and there is a chance that it's going to be seized at customs uh, by Misrade Tikshoret and they're going to uh, compound it because it lacks the necessary permission uh, to get into Israel. If you don't believe me, I've both known people this has happened to and I had a wireless intercom that has vanished into the Israeli bureaucratic uh, black hole. So just a couple of heads up to be careful about uh, before you're spending your money. Just make sure that it is something that can legally be imported to the country. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to Israel, looking to buy computer components or whole computers, um, I hope this video was of help. And uh, final thing, $75 or, or above in Israel does incur a VAT charge of 17%. Uh, so just bear that in mind. Amazon does have a, uh, a import fee calculator feature built into it. Many websites do not, um, including like Newegg, I think. So just another thing to be aware of. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you'd like to subscribe to get more videos, um, I do uh, publish ones about living in Israel from time to time. Thank you very much for watching.